Well, then I'm indeed making up all the rap lyrics to go along. I want you guys to give me things to rap about, and I'll rap about them. But I can't rap about anything else that anybody else ever rapped about before, because there's already so many awesome songs about how sad Drake is. And I can't rap about uh, anything I've ever rapped about before, because you're going to hear more songs about how sad I am. And uh, I can't rap about anything that's going to get me arrested, because I got a theater degree. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go to prison with you. It's, it's not on the cards for me. I'm a skinny guy. I'm a, I'm a kisser, not a puncher. That doesn't go over so well in the prison. So, uh, can I get some hands up and we'll do this? Yes, sir, what you got? Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent, yeah, sure. We're in the Hard Rock Cafe. That only makes sense. Yeah, what you got? What's that? Ben Linus? Ben Linus? From Lost? <laughs> I'll give a little, I've done a lot of lost raps, because I got a lot of nerdy friends. <laughs> yes, what you got? <laughs> sure. A bus driver and friend. Oh, wow. Hey, hey, girl. Gone, man. Interracial love, kitten mittens, uh, Ted Nugent, Ben Linus. What are you holding, what are you holding up? What are these things? What, you brought me stuff? This is spray paint? Oh, this is spray paint. And then this is a fortune camera? What is this? Are you giving these to me or are you just asking me to rap about them? Okay, we'll take them back. I don't need to hold them. Actually, I'm going to take a lot of pictures with that. I'm not going to spray paint anything. I think I've already pushed my luck by bringing a bottle of Jim Beam on stage. So, um, Dinosaurs! Yeah, you're going to probably have to be more specific than that, buddy. I got really nerdy fans. That's been done a thousand times. The Stegosaurus Rex is my favorite dinosaur. Has been for years and years and years. Okay, so let's review. Hold on, let's pause. Uh, Ted Nugent, Interracial Love, Stegosaurus Rex, uh, Kitten Mittens, uh, that can of spray paint, this fortune camera. Um, ah! um, cool. Uh, what was that other one? There was one other one, right? Oh, Ben Linus. Okay, fine, cool. What's that? Jenga. Jenga, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> It's a red wine and Jenga night here in Detroit. <laughs> so there I am, all alone on a fucking Saturday night with a bottle of red wine and a goddamn pile of Jenga by my side. And it's funny, try to play Jenga all alone. It's not really as much fun when you pull and doesn't fall, yo. You'll be like, shit, yeah, my hands are so fucking steady, dog. And you look to the fucking poster of KRS-One on the wall, and you realize that's your only friend. You're like, fuck, is it my fault? What did I do? Did I smell? Should I spend more time washing my socks? What's the result? So you put the fucking Django all down because it's too depressing to play Django alone without a fucking crowd. So you sit there and turn on the TV. Shit. You ain't got no TV, you watch TV on the internet. You flip up your laptop and you watch us for a bit. You watch Lost on one of those illegal European streaming sites and shit because you can't afford cable and your reception's all crap and you stole your fucking wireless from your neighbor in the back. It was too fucking dumb to fucking password that and so you fucking keyed right in and now you're using it, cat. And so there you are, you are, watching fucking Lost on your broken laptop with your fucking bottle of red wine and your Jenga set topped off and you're looking there and you're like, fucking Ben Linus, I hate that guy. And everyone else is quiet because there's no one around, right? And you're like, shit, what the fuck came of my life? I used to be Mr. Fucking Single Goddamn Party One Guy, and there I am, all alone, sitting Saturday night with a bottle of Jenga fucking wine, and I am trying to survive. Hold on one second. You know what's crazy? All the bottles of wine in this club are all named after bands. They got the police and stuff. I'm fucking coming back here, and I'm gonna be pissed if there ain't a bottle with my fucking name that says Astronautics. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna taste like shit. Cause I don't know anything about wine. Fuck wine, make it whiskey, bitch. And I'm a simple man with simple needs. Just take a bottle of fucking beam, tear it off, and put a picture of me. You can lie and say, yeah, we spent all fucking years trying to get the distillery process right down perfect here. And all you did was take the fucking sticker off the front and fucking wheat paste the picture of my fucking mug on it, son. I don't fucking care. I'll be like, shit, best bottle of whiskey I ever tasted. I'll drink a shot of myself and I'll be like, that's fucking outrageous. <laughs> Well, let's face it, that may not be written in the cards, and there's only one way to tell. It's probably this fortune camera, dog. And so where you're sitting there all alone on your fucking pirated internet, you take your fortune camera out and take a picture of how sad you is. Oh, and I gotta charge the flash. How do you charge the flash on this crap? I've never used a fucking disposable camera since 1985. Fucking Christ. Where do you plug this into your USB and upload it to Twitter every goddamn fucking week? I've been taking pictures on this for the last hour and a half and I can't figure out how to put them on Instagram and all, cat. 
I'm fucking confused by that. Is it going to tell me a fortune now when I take a bunch of pictures? Is it going to tell me that you're going to be one day a lone child sitting all alone with a bottle of red wine that says astronautalist playing Jenga watching Ben Linus on the internet television, kid? Shit. And you'll be like, this is what it come on my damn life. The fortune camera was right when I played the hard rock that night. And all of a sudden you're sitting there alone and you're like, why? Why did the fortune camera ruin my night? Why did it happen to have to come to this life? And all of a sudden when you're feeling so sad for yourself, that's when the world comes alive. Fuck the Kool-Aid man. The wall gets kicked in by a guy with two fucking guitars and a crossbow hidden on his back, right? Ted Nugent's there to come to save your fucking night. Sitting there shooting a white deer with lies. Goddamn right, pull that boat back and let it all fly. Fucking Michigan, listen in, it's a fucking Ted Nugent night. That guy is coming there. Cat scratch fever survive. And I'll be like, yeah, I got cat scratch fever because my cat's number 25. And he'll be like, God damn it, get out of your house and off your couch. I love your cats, but leave them. We're fucking going out. So me and Ted getting fucking crazy as shit. Cowboy hats upon our head and a fucking crossbow, I guess. We take out onto the town quick and pick up all these chicks. Even though Ted is married, he's doing it for me. Wingman champion. Yeah. Repping hard to the day of the death. Goddamn Ted Nugent got that shit. You best believe it quick. And all of a sudden, I got chicks. How many chicks? 26. All of them of different races, interracial shit. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma is nervous because I got all these different girls upon my arm upon purpose and I'm like, Grandma, I didn't say love. Ted Nugent showed me the truth inside the club. Get up here and get you a little touch. <laughs> Nah, that's just fucked. That's just me sitting on my couch. That's the fantasies I work around. When I'm off tour, I don't even go out. I sit at home and I play Dungeons and Dragons all alone. You want to see depressing, roll a d20 with no one around. That's a fucking problem and understand I'm being honest. You're sitting there all alone fucking working words for science and you understand that Ted Nugent ain't bursting through no walls. Ted Nugent ain't coming getting fucking clothes upon your drawers, dog. Ted Nugent ain't gonna arrive. He's sitting at home all night with a fucking thousand kids and a wife and a bunch of guns by his side. Sitting there, he ain't got no time for fortune cameras. He takes fortune cameras, toss them in the air, shooting them, goddammit. <laughs> This is without a doubt the most that anyone's ever rapped about Ted Nugent in the history of hip hop. Believe that. Someone call Guinness. They need to know the truth in that because I just set a record for Ted Nugent in rap. So there you go. The most Nugent references that been dropped. What was that band he was in before or after? Damn Yankees or some such? Whatever the fuck. Who cares? Let's leave it by the side. We love Ted Nugent for a bit and then we fucking let him all ride. But I'll fucking rep him till I die just like the way I rep Skinner Kid. He's a fucking guy that we grew up and there's no escaping this shit. This is our heritage. These are our people now, but yeah, forget Nugent. I was more into Alice Cooper's style. I like that shit. Fucking makeup and snakes. Hold on one second. There was another topic I was supposed to take. Yeah, but see, none of that fucking really hit me when I was really young. I was more into spray paints, crack dealers, and gangsters with guns. And so this is what it got me, son, in my fucking khaki, standing in the hard rock, spitting on my fucking wacky wrappings. I lure up listening to gangsters and drug dealers, they taught me this. And so now here I am in a hard rock astronautalist. So everybody smile and take a cheese just for a second. This is your fortune, understand? I am capturing you all, no question. So it's one for you, one for these guys right here in the middle now. It takes so long to wire the disposable camera on this show. It's so fucking confusing. I'm so used to the iPhone style where you can just say, click, 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 put on Instagram pictures of my tits, you know, like my stuff. That's it. I think that's all the topics supposed to touch. Was there one that I forgot that I fucking seemed to skip up? Oh, yes. Stegosaurus Rex, that was the one. Let's all wrap it up with a nerdy fucking thought that I've got, son. See, here, hold on. You take this back. I think I used up all your camera now, and your film is all gone. Exposure to these crowds and freestyles. But look, I'm sorry if you got mad because I took your exposures quick, but that's all right. We'll all capture these memories forever, kid. I've got a request. For every paleontologist, please stop learning new things about dinosaurs. You're ruining my inner kid. Because all the dinosaurs that I used to know that did exist are not actually real designed dinosaurs because you fucked up that shit. Triceratops wasn't actually something because you got the bones mixed up. Please just stop discovering. I don't want to know that stuff. Wait till after I die and you can change it all up right because I don't want you to ruin the stegosaurus not in my lifetime. I love that fucking guy with plates all upon his back and you'd be like, those plates weren't actually attached. They were ancient boogie boards, in fact. And you'd be like, Fuck, I fucked that crap. Please, paleontologists, stop that. No more discoveries. No more new knowledge. Just halt just for that. Because it's going to break my fucking heart if that stegosaurus falls apart. Because you were like, sorry, we fucked up with that dick where his heart. And sorry, 
this bonus didn't go that way. That's not the part. I really fucked it up. I'm sorry, astronautists. Sorry, dog.